So I can pull up here. This is the aircraft as modeled in X plane. We're happy to do that. So you can see the structure of the airplane, as I'm sure Tom's already talked about. Um, so let's just step back into the cockpit. So I've got here a collective, same as a helicopter, or a throttle in the case of an EV tool. And then I have a cyclic, so nose down, nose up, roll left, roll right, your is here. So here is uh, Xavion, which is kind of our in-house and also public to some extent avionics platform. So it tells you, you know, conventional AHAS data, you have a conventional map, a glide advisor, and then in addition to that, we have monitoring for our EV talk system. So we can see the RPM on each corner of the airplane, we can see the battery state of charge, we can see our CAN data, uh, things like that that are really important for the pilot. Do you want right. to take you through a regular flight? Yeah. Okay, so uh, the technique for this airplane is you kind of throttle up into a hover, take up the ground, so this lift off, and now I'm releasing it down. I'm bringing up that throttle, and as I do that, I start to tilt the rotors forward. I'm modulating the throttle this whole time to control altitude. You know, go full throttle, the rotor's coming full forward, the airspeed is now at 95 knots, and I turn into an airplane. I'm going to let off the tilt actuator and I'm now an airplane. All right. So I'm building airspeed through 125 knots. I'm starting to establish a climb rate, 700 feet per minute. I'm climbing out like you know, one of those nice climbing out left turns generally out of the airport. And out I come. Incline is telling you how to fly back and land on the runway. Um, and so if you ever have an engine failure, that helps you get back to the field. So I'm going to come around. So it looks like I'm set up for a nice left pace here. So I'm rolling out, we can see over the lake. I've actually done this approach in real life. Um, so coming around, the glide advisor is now giving us an approach vector as we come through. So I'm just gonna come around. I'm gonna cut this short, because just for the video. Um, so we're, you know, we're doing very high speeds here, 135 knots, so I'm gonna start throttling it back. There's the end of the runway. I'm just keeping this a very short pattern. This is not how you'd actually fly the vehicle. I'm starting to bring it back a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll just do a fixed wing landing. Making that turn the final. So this is obviously, you know, not a very disciplined traffic pattern. Because down we come, just like a normal airplane. You know, I'm bringing out the power, lining it up on that center line. Um, and you know, down I come. So I'm doing 115. I'm just start to bring the nose up. And it'll start to bring down that airspeed and we'll kind of come down to the ground here. It should go fairly smooth. So 90 knots, well within the green range. I flare it back just like a Cessna or anything else. And we'll uh, we'll just gently come on down. Good job. Well, oh, thank no you very worries. much. <laughs> thank you. Cool.